Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for subfloor installation. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, let's get this van clean. I'm using a broom to get a lot of our large debris out of the way. Then I'm gonna follow up with a blower just to get the little bit last bits of dust out of the corners. Now I'm gonna use isopropyl alcohol to degrease and clean my base in preparation for glue. For our van build, we're gonna do a little bit of pre-wire under the floor. So we're connecting our vehicle charge wire as well as our 12 gauge for our S-bar under the flooring. I'm taping the wire into place so that we don't get any movement as we test fit our panels. Now we're gonna drop each panel in place as a test fit, checking that rear tire drop to make sure our panel is lined up at the back of the van. If you're pre-wiring under the floor like we are, go ahead and pull those wires up through that pass-through to make sure everything aligns perfectly. We wanna make sure our seams are nice and tight. So here at the side view, you can see where the wire passes through. We have a little bit deeper pocket to accommodate the wiring. Now we're dropping in our front panel making sure everything lines up and looks good. Let's take one more review. If at this point there are any issues with your floor, now is the time to pause and correct those issues before you proceed with gluing. Our DIY floor is sold as a blank slate. Feel free to make any modifications to suit your needs. The floor we're installing today has a couple modifications made to it. We've pre-cut for two sections of L-Track in our cargo area. We're also trying out a pocket for our JMG seat base up here at the front, and this is a prototype, so it's a little rough. We're gonna leave the front two sections in for alignment, and we're gonna put a couple of clamps inside the van to lean that rear section up against. Go ahead and put these clamps on the wall just behind the seam so you can lean that rear section of floor against them. We're gonna tip up our rear section of floor, and we're gonna do one last double check to make sure our floor is clean and prepared for glue. We find it's easiest to spray the adhesive on the flooring inside the van, because it's easier just to drop this thing into place. Today in the shop, we're using our Formula 70. You might have seen this outlined in our adhesives video. Use a spray shield to make sure you don't get any glue overspray on the rest of your van. We've waited 10 minutes for our glue to off gas, and now we're ready to drop the floor in place. Getting your rearmost panel glued in correctly is the most important because it's gonna dictate how all the other panels fit to it. So I'm gonna hold the back of my floor up ever so slightly. Let Stuart drop his into place so we can push it tight against that seam. At this point, do your best Irish River dance to make sure that floor is stuck down well. Now we're going to flip our clamps to just behind that seam and do the exact same thing in reverse with our middle panel. We're going to wipe down our subfloor, make sure everything is nice and clean. Let's go ahead and apply glue to this second panel, making sure we get full coverage. We're going to wait for our glue to off-gas again. We waited another 10 minutes. Dropping this second panel in place can be a little tricky because we have these C-pillar cutouts. So get it as close as possible without dropping it down and have your person aligning the seam, pull that floor tight against the seam. We want tight alignment there. Make sure you pull up that last little bit of wire so it's not lifting your floor. We're two thirds of the way done. Let's make this last panel perfect. Because the last panel is a little bit harder to fit in place, we've pulled it out of the van to spray our adhesive. As I transition to spraying glue inside the van, I'm gonna make sure my wiring is out of the way. Here in the shop, we always have three people to install this last panel as we need to hover it behind those driver's seats to drop it into place correctly. The last thing to be done is going to be blocking under our step. Go ahead and take a quick measurement to the subfloor section and then cut away your insulation. Now, screw in a block to support that step and you're ready for vinyl. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you'd like to pick up your own insulated subfloor, we have them available on our website, avcrig.com. There's also a link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button for others to find it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. With that, we'll see you on the next video.